I'm here in the centre of Bristol at the city's historic harbour. It's a beautiful sunny morning and we're not a, just a stone's throw from the Physics World offices. And you might be wondering what on earth we're doing here. But the link is the sun. And in fact the sun is the cover story in the August issue of Physics World. It's a feature by Ashley Dale from the University of Bristol, which is on the hill just behind me. And he writes about a particularly dangerous solar phenomenon known as solar superstorms. Now, the first one was observed in 1859 by the English astronomer Richard Carrington. And back then, the impact that it had on Earth was very limited. But nowadays, with so much modern communications infrastructure, power lines, if a solar superstorm were to happen these days, the impact could really be devastating. And what happens is that the magnetic field of the Earth gets buckled, inducing electric currents and power lines, and really our way of life could be disrupted very, very quickly. Now, I don't want to worry you too much, but having said that, astronomers think that a solar superstorm of the strength of the Carrington event should occur once every 150 years. And since the last one was in 1859, we're actually five years overdue. In the meantime, here's a sneak preview of, a, of the August issue. So if you want to find out more, please do check that issue out.